Hi, I'm Kendall Wiley, superintendent of Columbus Christian School, and I'm here today with Gwen Bond. Gwen is our first grade teacher, and we're going to talk to you about um, curriculum and life as a first grader here at Columbus Christian. So, Mrs. Bond, first of all, uh, you have 18 years of experience here at Columbus Christian mm -hmm. School. Uh, what keeps bringing you back here? I love the families and the kids. I can, you know, really talk to the kids, and we have fun during devotions and our calendar time, and just getting to know each other and the families. So. Awesome. Well, speaking of that, then let's talk a little bit about your curriculum. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, first grade curriculum, you have to cover Indiana standards, right. like all schools mm -hmm. would have to cover. Uh, but you do that in a certain way here at Columbus Christian. We integrate the, the Bible yes. into that. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, how you do that in the first grade? Well, we are definitely phonics based, and so um, we use a Becca and Bob Jones, and we use, um, when we're going over our phonics charts and our special sounds, um, we can use the memory verses that the kids are working on during Bible, um, and then I have them circle special sounds and mark vowels, and we're, you know, practicing it in Bible, but we're also practicing it in class as well. Um, we practice um, not only with phonics, but um, with, through our devotions, we practice the, the verses in there too, so I can also put in the phonics there. Um, the phonics also, like this says A-R-E, says Aaron Cairn, it shows Jesus caring for a child, so we can talk about how Jesus cares for us, and that's one of our special sounds. Um, they have, in our reading books too, we have um, stories, for instance, there's one about Daniel, there's um, one that says, in a minute, so we're learning to be patient. There's one that shows us how to be kind to our friends and take care of those around us to serve others. So um, it not, not only talks about phonics in our reading, but also puts in the Bible as well. Now, you're talking a lot about the, the phonics end of things. My, my understanding is that's kind of a thing that a lot of people aren't hit, hitting upon as much anymore that's in what some I've schools. Heard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So why do you feel that's so important? Well, for instance, I can help the children be more independent when they're trying to read something. I can say, well, let's look at the sounds. What do you see when they come to me and say, I don't know how to read this? So we can take it, almost chunk it into sounds for them, help them remember the phonics rules, how to mark your vowels and read the words, um, looking at the special sounds as well, the blends and digraphs. So. Okay. So if we would take a certain subject, you know, and, and you pick, you can pick your subject, but say a, a science or a social studies, can you walk us kind of a little bit through a lesson that you would be doing and how that biblical worldview is in that lesson? Right. Okay. So for instance, um, in science, we might be talking about the seasons and, you know, right here at the beginning, it says God made the seasons. They're part of his world. And, you know, I can go in through my science devotional books too and read more about how God made the seasons, and it gives Malachi 3, 6 as an example. You know, I am um, I am the Lord. I do not change as the seasons change. Um, I use um, biblical truths in finding scriptures for my students on what to read for history and for science, and um, as well as the history. For instance, we just had President's Day, and so we were talking about Abraham and um, President Washington and you know how they loved God in the beginning and how they changed our, um, our they started our country with God. They based it off of God. Our, even our phonics and our curriculum go back to, you know, put Washington in there who prayed and loved the Lord and who trusted God and was brave. And so it all kind of comes together. You know, we can, you know, even help them with phonics in their history when they get stuck on a word. We chunk it and look at the special sounds and how you mark the vowels. That's awesome, how you weave it all together. But exactly. also, yeah. outside of your classroom, mm -hmm. um, then our, the, the students at Columbus Christian also have the opportunity to go to a Bible class. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about your schedule and how that works? Right. In the morning, we have um, our calendar time and devotions. But then right after that, um, our Bible teacher comes in and they have a Bible lesson. So they go through the Bible, they do their memory verse, they play games and do activities with the Bible. So it's another teacher that comes in and covers their Bible lessons. Right. And how do you ha how do you handle uh, specials at Columbus Christian? Okay, so specials um, for first grade, the teacher comes to us this year. And so we have art and music in our classroom. And then um, we also go to PE in the afternoon, so, and as well as Bible and chapel, so on Wednesdays. 
Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so you have a, a Bible teacher that comes and, and has class with them. How do you handle specials in your classroom? Well, our special teachers come to our classroom. So we have music and art in our classroom. We also have uh, laptops, our Chromebooks. So she also comes in to do computers at the beginning of the year. And then we leave the room for library upstairs and for PE, we go to the gym. Okay, so that's awesome. Now, can you talk a little bit about the, the culture at, at Columbus Christian School? I know you, you have uh, many years of experience and, and uh, you've been able to see kids grow uh, as they come in with their families and you know their young families. Right. Uh, can you talk about that family culture that so many people refer to? Right, I think we all just lean on each other. We're there for each other. Um, you know, I've experienced that when people come around me when I need help with something or when we're going through something, um, but I think we just do that as a whole. When our families are struggling or need help, we all come together and we can pray for them and we can serve them and, you know, just be with each other and do what Jesus wants us to do and love each other. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us about what, what a typical class size would be at Columbus Christian School? A typical class size would probably be around 10 to 18 students. And in the past, the recent years, I've probably had about 13 as my average class size. Very good, and, and and that is one section. So those kids really get to know each other right, exactly. as they move up through the through the high, through all the way through high school. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah, and and also uh, we might say now you're on the first grade end of things, uh, but but you've had students that have gone all the way through grade twelve. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's really fun to watch them go from the young readers and you know young in their faith. To growing and becoming leaders in the school and you know not even in their classrooms but on the basketball court and in their churches and everywhere so it's fun to watch very good yeah well for Gwen Bond I'm Kendall Wildy and we're glad that you're listening today uh, we like talking to you about Columbus Christian School where we do education with a higher purpose hope you have a blessed day